Here's how you can run a Spring Boot project in IntelliJ Community Edition. If you don't yet have IntelliJ IDE installed, you can follow this video where I explain how to do it on the Mac. Now let's go inside the editor. You may see something a little bit different than what I see here, because I already had IntelliJ installed previously. But go ahead and go to File, New, Project. Let's name this project My Spring Project. Let's put it in another location. Don't forget to choose Gradle, because Gradle is much better than Maven. Don't worry about it yet. And you may not have a JDK installed yet, and I previously had installed version 17 here. So I'm going to show you how to install version 21. Go to download JDK, choose JDK 21. I know 22 is newer, but trust me, you want the 21. Since I am on Apple Silicon, I'm going to download ARCH64 version. And you can choose a flavor from here. It really doesn't matter. I just like Eclipse Temerin, click Select, and click Create. I'd like to open it in this window. You can see that it's downloading the JDK and it's importing the project. The error at the top has disappeared, and we can run the project pressing Ctrl-R. Hopefully the project runs and you can proceed to the next step. Now for the next step, go ahead and open up your browser, search for Spring Starter, and that is going to be Spring Initializer, actually. Choose Gradle Groovy. That's the default option at the time of filming. Language is, of course, Java. We're going to choose version 333, which is the newest stable version. Now, for the group, I'm going to make it codes.readus because that is my channel. Artifact is going to be my Spring project. Java 21. If you know the dependencies that you want, you can click Add Dependencies. The one that you probably want is Spring Web. Now you can either click Generate to download the project, and you can just extract it and open it with IntelliJ, but I'm going to do something a little bit different so that I can show you step by step. I'm going to click Explore, and here you will have your Build Gradle file. Just copy everything from there. Go back to your editor, open Build Gradle, paste it over, click the Load Changes button at the top right. As you can see at the bottom, it is importing the project. Give it a little bit of time. You can go ahead and sip some water while it downloads. And there you have it, it has downloaded. Open up Source Main, Java, and then you're going to see that this Example is no longer needed. You can go ahead and refactor this package, rename it to whatever you chose as your group right here. Refactor. You can just delete this org here. Now go back to the browser, open up source, main Java, and then your group name, codes, readers. And then there's also going to be your project. So let me just get back here and rename that. I'm pressing F shift, by the way, to rename my spring project. Refactor, go back to the browser, click on my spring project application, copy everything from here. Now rename your main class to match my spring project application, just as it is here. and paste the code you just copied. And now you should be able to click on this play button right here and do run or debug, whichever one you like. Wait for it to compile. And if you did everything correctly, you should see that you have started my Spring Project application. Yes, it's a lot easier to use the ultimate version of IntelliJ IDEA to work with Spring but it is not necessary. As you can see, we have launched it on the community version. Now, a little bit of a side note here. Now, when you press stop, the IntelliJ will show you that the execution has failed for task, blah, blah, blah. It's going to throw you an error. Don't worry about that. Just ignore it. This is shown because the application has not quit itself, 
but rather you just pressed stop and it just brutally forced it to shut down. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like and let me know in the comments.